I can't say with the script from my original CD, right. Learn to Speak Consciously, Not Directly. Yes. And it was recorded four years ago, and I know you've done a lot of work since. Right. And I'm hoping that you can actually tell us how it's changed and how to pronounce the words as you understand mm, it. Right. So starting with... Starting with the top and working through. Yeah. Yes, well, there will be an awful lot to say about this, because what you've got down here is a mixture of material from you know several generations and um, spelling changes, pronunciation changes. I'll tell you what this would have been around about 1700. Okay. Okay, so first of all, to say hello, hello d doesn't include a person's name. It, hello just means hi. And the Cornish for that is an biik gwel. An biik gwel really means greetings to you. And that's the same as hello. If you say hello and you have the person's name after it, you use H A ha and the person's name. So hello John would be Hajun. And that comes in the story of Juan Chai Ho when John meets his friends coming back from the market in, in Exeter. Um, they say to him, Hajun, we're glad to see you, right? Okay. Well I'm for hello, I was taught to dab away. So. Oh well that, that means good day. Good day. Right. Uh Dudelo is 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 all right. it's slightly Okay, this is known from a slightly earlier Cornish, and that's how it's spelled. That TH would actually be a D, and that DHA is really an O, but I mean, it's like saying goodbye, what does goodbye come from? Explain goodbye. Well, you pick it to pieces, and you find it comes from God be with you. And nobody actually writes down God be with you, you write down goodbye, and you don't criticise, you accept it as it is. So you can leave that as it is, as long as you know what you're saying. But that actually means good day to you, not hello. Okay. You know, and hello doesn't mean good day. You've got two different things. Goodbye. Do you get away as God be with you? All right, that's all right. The reason that that's actually found with an A, not an O, because you don't say geno, you say gena. And ah uh, is often spelt just with an A, so do you get away. And in modern Cornish, the H comes before the W, that would be H-U-I or H-U-I. If it's not stressed, it's hui. If it's stressed, it's why. That's another complication. Because you say Jugenahui, not Jugenahui. So therefore you don't need that Jugenahui. But what they did say uh, in Latterly was Bene Tu Gana. The blessing of God be with you. Right? Sounds like Irish, doesn't it? Can you pronounce that again? Bene Tu Gana. Bene Tu Gana. Bene Tu Gana. There are even, that's God. There are even two pronunciations for God, I'm afraid. You can say Du or you can say Deu. The last pronunciation was actually do, so I put an e there, Bertugana. But if I say it fast, you wouldn't know whether I was saying to or do. Bertugana. How are you? All right. Um, that is, again, a little bit old-fashioned. Fatla Ganaway, with an A. All right. Fatla, how is with you? That was originally EU, and it turned into R because it was, it was lack of stress. The sounds disappear. They all melt together as a vague sound. So it was originally fatal you get away, it turned to fatla get away. So what they actually started saying though was fatal elohai yil, how can you do? It's not how do you do, but how can you do? Fatal elohai yil, how can you do? Let's in there is okay. That's uh, good, good night. They, that doesn't alter, let's in there. Well that's good morning, isn't it? That's good morning, and news there is all right, I mean I'm spelling that N-O, N-O, certain for X-D-A, news there, that's all right. But they also said, turnes ta the D H A sorry, which is, um, uh, <laughs> it's not only goodbye words. May God grant you a good night. All Constantine and turnes So if you say turnes terra, you don't really, you shouldn't really have to bother about the spelling. If you, once you're asked to spell it, it becomes very difficult. Right, okay. But as long as it's Ternestera or Nus De, Ternestera, and the Ta there is the same as that there. And it, it's got a T in it because the Z on the end turns that D into a T. It sounds complicated. If you throw away all your books and you had somebody you rely upon who knew how to pronounce things to teach you, you wouldn't need any books. You say Ternestera, well, you don't have to spell it. Nus De, or you don't have to spell it, see? So that good night, please. Now, more play really means if you please. It's rather polite, so if you don't mind. The way to say please is just PG, which is the equivalent of English pray. Pray, pray so, pray with us so trippingly, you know, pray this, pray that, please do. 
So that's PG or me a PG. I will do. PG cooler to thee, please lend me. Uh, is recorded from 1875. Thank you then. Uh, that's uh, recipes. Many thanks. Or there are actually two ways of saying thank you in modern Cornish. The one way which you normally use if you're thanking somebody for something you've actually received is grimasi, which means I do thanks. Right? I know the West Indies, they say masi. You know, masi, masi. If you're actually saying, um, let's say you say to somebody, uh, how are you? Oh, you say, very well, thank you. Then you say, de dudadui, which is thank, good, um, may God repay you. God repay you for asking, I suppose. If you're given something, there's no actual record of whether you can use Dudalatui or not. We know that Dudalatui means thank you. Would you know understand me if I said McGinn and Ayers? Um, yes, you're saying that you've got your health. Yeah. Right. You would say actually Ma Ginnam and Ayers V. There is with me my health me. <laughs> Which is again idiomatic. If you start explaining these things it gets you really tangled. That actually, the original of that was Ma and Ahas Nay Then. We have our health. But you can change the, 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 the hour to a my, obviously. Ma and Ahas Nay Then. Yes, now from that spelling, you can't tell everyone I've said. I test you on that. And you know, it's, it's I circumflex A. That's how Clue spells it. But um, Rho had an H on, so we know that's not just A, but R. So that's E R. And you cut that another way of spelling is Y A. And you look at that, is that, is that German? Ja. It's actually that and that and that all the same thing. And it's pronounced E R because in the 1600s, the sound E was nearly always spelled with an E because it's an English spelling. Oh. I mean, how do you spell H E? How do you pronounce H E? H E is he, M E is me. From my childhood, I, I use the word S. Now that's just dialect. Oh, well, yes. Um, nobody really knows where it comes from. It's probably a way of saying yes. Or it may be just a way of saying, because, you know, yes in Cornish can just be, do people say, yeah, as you, as you, I think it's really yes with the Y left off, this, this, it should, it's not really part of the language, but it was used so much, I mean, I quite have to use it myself. No, the, yeah, that pronunciation is no, it looks like nah, it's not nah, as they use on television, everyone now says nah, I don't know where that comes from, I'm sure it's not.